Well, everyone, I'm meteorologist Johanna Wagstaff with a check on your weather for Thursday. We saw some sunny breaks this morning, but the clouds have since rolled in. And as we head into the 3 p.m. hour, showers knocking on our door. Four showers we've seen since June 2nd. Not getting a lot of rain, uh, but we'll see some across the south coast in the next couple of hours. Temperatures right now 19, so about a seasonal in through YVR uh, into the mid-20s out towards the valley. Uh, we'll stay around these temperatures through tomorrow and into Saturday, and then we'll heat up again. Uh, for Sunday. Uh, look at the radar right now so you can see this band sliding in. Uh, this is a front sliding in generally from the west so if I zoom you in right now it's quite slow moving. Uh, again just before the 3 p.m. hour we're starting to see a few really isolated cells uh, cross over. We probably won't see uh, the heavier showers until this evening so a couple more hours before things start to fill in. Uh, speaking of filling in I just have to take you across to uh, southern Oklahoma where uh, this is pretty incredible. This is the remnants of Tropical Storm Bill, now a tropical depression. Uh, it's tracking through uh, southern Oklahoma, generally tracking towards the uh, north-northeast. But what's so incredible, just look at how much it still looks like a tropical storm. It has that circulation, the spin. It almost has an eye. Uh, it's regained or it's maintained a lot of its tropical characteristics because the ground is so saturated from flooding back in May. So it's almost acting like an overland ocean helping to feed this storm, which is pretty incredible and which is why this has had such devastating effects. Some serious flooding last night in through uh, southern Oklahoma and the storm will continue to pack a punch uh, all the way up to the Great Lakes for this weekend. Okay, our little system not bringing nearly as much rain. Taking you through the next couple of hours, it's around 7 p.m. I think we'll see the heaviest of the rain. Uh, the uh, Canadian local model doing the best job, I think, of lining up where the timing of that uh, heavier rain. So again, around 7 p.m. Things will move through quite quickly from west to east so the valley getting it later on, stopping you at Friday 8 a.m. Some lingering clouds, some lingering drizzle possible, but that high pressure builds right back in. Sunshine for Friday afternoon, a nice mix of sun and cloud for Saturday, and all sun and, and hot temperatures for Sunday. You can see our model output uh, for numbers getting back up to the mid to high 20s for Sunday, and it looks like we stay pretty dry and warm through early next week. So some good rain, we do need it, but not a lot. It'll move through quite quickly, but get ready for it later on tonight. All more details.